Hayek of Siwa, what are your thoughts on Rick Rude? To me, he was one of the most badass and underrated wrestlers uh, ever. No one could sell an atomic drop quite like him. Uh, thank you to both you and Sean giving us the most touching episode on Scott Hall. Bad guy is smiling down upon you. Rude was uh, Rude was my first mentor of prominence of somebody that was fucking over. And uh, I remember the first time Rude came in to uh, WCW, and it was like Sting's birthday party. I know we were in Milwaukee. And it was like after a pay per view, and, and Rude came in the back door and basically fucking like fucking just gave Sting probably four or five just fucking shoot shots. Like, like you know, most like fucking he had the, the mouth was going, he had a fucking goose egg on the eye. And I just watched it and I just said to myself, like, oh, when you come in, fuck everyone, get over. You know? And then we started riding together. He couldn't roll the joint to save his fucking life. So I, you know, he was like, he was like, hey, Ben Man, can you fucking roll a joint? I'm like, yeah, I can roll a joint. He's like, all right. We know, he's always the same. Like, all right, I'll drive. We'd leave the arena. His gimmicks would kick in fucking seven miles down the road. He'd pull over. Take the, take the wheel, big man. I was going to say, he was doing plenty more than the joint. So it, Yeah, but I remember one day we were, we were driving, and I, I, I light a joint. I, I hand it to him. He hands, he hands me the joint back. All of a sudden, he fires up another one. I'm like, all right, we each got our own joint, I guess. We just says, the next thing you know, he forgets that he's got one in the ashtray, lights up another one. Now we got, a three, we got three joints and two dudes. I'm like, like maybe Rick, we just like put two of those out and just kind of, you know, like I don't think we need to fucking hot box this motherfucker any more than it incense. is. Like yeah. incense, just let it burn. Yeah, like God damn, man. We, my, my wife, it, it, my wife, uh, I always kind of protected her and didn't bring her around the business. And we went out to dinner with uh, with Rick and his wife Michelle, and we go out and you know. The ladies are talking, and me and Rick belly up to the bar, and we're, we're, we're fucking pounding some some fucking drinks. And we get to the table, and you know, before the food even came, man, Rick was just fucking like doing the Carrie Von Eric deal. Uh, I mean, gone, just fucking gone. And uh, my wife was just like, that was like the first thing. And I, I told my wife, like, you know, you, you don't want to be around the pirate ship too much. I said, you know, and I, she we she that we came home that night, and she was in the car. She was just like, holy fuck. And then that, like, you're like, see, I told you those yeah. guys. <laughs> Fast forward to fucking 1997, and I'm at the fucking Diamondbacks game <laughs> behind home plate and fucking parking where the fucking players park. <laughs> Game's over. Guys asking my wife, can you wake him, wake him up so I can sweep around him? <laughs> so, oh, well. <laughs> 